Jim Thorpe, Pennsylvania, or Old Mock Junk, has a place of significance in American history. The anthracite coal industry began here and quickly developed into one of the most profitable industries in the world at the time, mining the coal and engineering ways to deliver it from the mines down to the Lehigh River for distribution required a large workforce. The population quickly soared with people looking for work. In just a few short years, streets were carved into the steep mountains and buildings, homes, and infrastructure were erected to support the burgeoning economy, including the creation of Pennsylvania's first railroad, the gravity-powered Switchback Railroad. By the turn of the 20th century, railroads had replaced the river barges, and enormous wealth came along with them. Jim Thorpe had become the richest town in the country, with at least 13 millionaires living here at the time, many of whom built extravagant mansions into the sides of the steep mountains. Not long after its creation, the Switchback Railroad was modified to carry passengers as well as coal. Trains powered by gravity descended 900 feet over nine miles to the river, reaching speeds over 50 miles per hour, making the Switchback the first roller coaster in the United States. The attraction was wildly popular, and soon Mock Chunk became the second most visited tourist destination in the United States behind Niagara Falls. That prosperity, though, would not last. Most towns in the region suffered population loss and economic decline after the 1920s with the rise of the auto industry and decline in use of anthracite coal. The exodus was too much for the region to bear. The once extravagant mansions that had covered the mountainsides in Jim Thorpe fell into disrepair. Most of them burnt down or were destroyed. The downtown was boarded up and property values plummeted. Following decades of efforts to revitalize the economy, in the 1970s, efforts of local residents and county officials led to the establishment of the Mock Chunk Historic District. Investment was made in revitalizing the economy, and around that same time, Jim Thorpe, Pennsylvania, Old Mock Chunk, became a zoned community. The zoning established around 1977 provides the original C3 historic business district, pictured in orange. That business district remains virtually unchanged in the half century since it was passed and today still encompasses just the two-tenths of a mile between Broadway and Ray Street. Jim Thorpe was a much different town in the 1970s when the business district zoning was first established. At the time, Jim Thorpe didn't have a passenger rail train. There were no biking or hiking trails no rafting trips, no options for restaurants or lodging, no art galleries, no museums, and few shops. Today, over 400,000 people come to Jim Thorpe each year. Average weekends attract two to 5,000 people per day. It is the result of decades of work to successfully rebuild the tourist economy but the renaissance of our local industry has brought with it unintended consequences. Parking is at crisis levels and overcrowding has reduced quality of life for residents. Though between 6,000 and 15,000 people are coming every weekend, there is restaurant seating capacity for only around 1,200 people at any given time. Lodging is even more scarce. Supply is not meeting the current demand. Planning ahead, we know that Jim Thorpe and its economy are likely to grow over the coming decade. Planned revitalization development on Flagstaff Mountain is progressing. The ballroom renovations are underway and along with a Ferris wheel that has been approved will be operational as early as this year. Multi-million dollar grants are in place that will help establish a gondola cable car tram linking Flagstaff Mountain to the downtown from where more than 270 new construction homes are approved for development. The Reading and Northern Railroad has refurbished the 2102 train that will be operating Reading to Jim Thorpe passenger excursions, introducing many hundreds of new visitors to Jim Thorpe starting this summer. And that is all in addition to the new Amtrak rail service from New York City to the Poconos, and all within the next 10 years. What are we doing to solve these problems? And what will we do to prepare our community and economy not only to benefit from this growth, but also to ensure that we grow in a responsible way that protects the quality of life for the people that live here.
an initiative is underway to improve our local historic business district by rezoning part of the residential R4 district from the Mokchunk Jail to Opera House Square into the existing walkable historic C3 commercial district. Creating a bigger walkable business district will disperse crowds over a larger area, helping to decongest the downtown. With an expanded walkable business district, we will help address the overcrowding we have today and provide a way to grow responsibly to meet future demand. By slowly adding places for people to visit and shop, over time we can improve infrastructure and quality of life for all residents. A larger walkable business district will attract the people already coming here to those existing cultural institutions and businesses on West Broadway that need more customers. The expanded business district will incentivize investment in the restoration of our existing buildings and homes and further beautify the downtown. Rezoning a portion of the R4 district into the C3 historic business district will create a sustainable way to add more businesses slowly over time where we want and need the businesses most. It's not just an idea, it's an initiative to do what's needed to help our community today and to ensure it's prepared to meet the challenges of tomorrow. Visit jtnow.org to learn more about the plan, to sign the petition, and to become a member to join in the conversation. Together, we will make sure that Jim Thorpe's tomorrow is as great as its past.